Okay, so let's turn right at this uh, corner coming up here. Okay, now this intersection coming up is an uncontrolled intersection. We should slow down. Okay, slow down a bit. Check left, check right. It's clear, we continue. Now this is critical. If you fail to slow down and check for traffic in your road test at an uncontrolled, uncontrolled intersection, you will fail your road test. This is another uncontrolled intersection another here. We slow down, it's only to the right, we look, there's no traffic, we continue. So but when you, you say slow down, you mean slow down to 30 kilometers? It depends how fast you're driving at the okay. moment. You know, just reduce your speed, make sure your foot is on the brake ready to stop. Okay. It's not necessarily an exact, uh, you know, speed that you're slowing down to. Right? Yes. So yeah, so when you come to an uncontrolled intersection, you're slowing down, it's not necessarily, you don't need to look at your speedometer. As long as your vehicle is slowing down, your foot is on the brake, um, and you're ready to stop. Okay. Okay. Uh, we want to be focusing on the road, not on the speedometer at that moment. We're going to turn left at the stop sign here. Um, remembering, taking your eyes off the road for more than a second is one second too long. Is a second too long. So, um, anytime you need to look at something away from the road, is just you make it quick. It's just a quick glance, right? Yes. One second to check your rear view mirror. One second to check your speedometer. Um, you know, or anything you need to look at besides the um, the main road in front of you. We're gonna turn right at the stop signs. We're gonna move over to the right lane. We're gonna do a proper lane change. Anytime you move from one space to another space off the road is a lane change. There's no exception. So a proper lane change, you have to check your mirror, indicate and shoulder check. That's a proper lane change. So what happens like if you're on a three lane street, like this one is four lane, pretty four much lanes, like, yes. right? it's a wider road. On a three-lane street, you have cars parked on both sides, and then you're in the middle, and if there's oncoming car, what you do? Well, it's, it's a shared responsibility, right? I mean, whoever has a space to yield to the other vehicle will yield. So if you have a space on your right side that you can pull in and let the other vehicle in, then you do it. It's your responsibility. Now, if the other vehicle does, then it's their responsibility. So it's a shared responsibility. Okay. So we have a four-way stop coming up here. As you can see, there's a sign underneath the stop sign telling you it's a four-way stop. That means every corner has a stop sign. Now, the way it works is whoever stops first goes first. If two people arrive at the same time, the person to the right of the other one will go first. Okay, yeah, that's good. Is that a highway? No, this is just a regular road. We're going to turn right here at the stop sign. So this is one of the so-called pedestrian uh, traffic light. It does only turn red when the uh, pedestrian presses the button or the bus is coming. And how do you know like this one is a pedestrian traffic light? Because it's just a single traffic light. There's no cross traffic light. So there is a stop sign on other side? That is correct, yes. yes. So what controls the cross uh, traffic in this case would be a stop sign for regular traffic. Okay. 